we've got Puget Sound, we've got the Cascade Mountains, we've got the Olympic Mountains. It's just the most beautiful state I've ever been to. The world is that one step away from, from Everett and Snohomish County, and that they will be able to hop off one of those planes after this incredible journey over the sound into this beautiful region and see everything that we have to offer. So Alaska Airlines uh, started here several weeks ago with uh, flights up and down the West Coast. Uh, United Airlines will be starting up very shortly to San Francisco and Denver. And if you think about it, San Francisco, if you fly to San Francisco or Denver, you can go anywhere in the world. Uh, Alaska going to Portland and San Francisco and LA and San Jose and San Diego. It's just amazing connections uh, to anywhere you want to go. Uh, this is really a unique terminal because it's the first public-private partnership terminal in the United States that we're aware of. And so uh, the county owns and operates the airport, has for many years. It's the home of Boeing, uh, their largest plant, but this terminal was built totally through private investment. Over $40 million invested in this terminal, nicest terminal in the country, and that was done without any taxpayer dollars. It took me 10 minutes to get the airport. To, to get to the airport and 10 minutes to get through security. I came to Sonoma's County for the visionary leadership that's here and for this project. This is an interesting example of uh, privatization at its best. Um, there are many privatized airports around the world, uh, including the biggest ones like Heathrow and Charles de Gaulle in Paris and Frankfurt. This is really the first example of a project like this in, in the United States. Having this kind of access uh, to the country and the world is really going to make us more desirable in the eyes of the businesses that want to expand, maybe in the region already. Uh, we've got a lot of high-tech companies, we've got a large aerospace industry here, and so I think uh, having either satellite or other uh, presence here in the county is going to be much more advantageous now. All we have to do is look across the street and see Boeing, and, and I, you know, I try to live up to that because having people like Boeing right across the street means that we have to make sure this is right. It changes everything. I think it, it, it puts us on the map. They, I think, previously saw Seattle as the main hub of activity and where it'd be easier to do business. Um, with commercial air here, we really become the business-friendly region of the Puget Sound area. And I think we're gonna see a lot of companies and um, developers and uh, that are very interested suddenly in our region in a way that they weren't previously. I think we're already seeing that. I'm proud that I got to do a project of such importance to the region at such a historical airport. Um, and I'm, I'm proud of just the way it came out. Executive Summers figures out ways to get things done, and that's, that's made this project doable. Um, you know, I got, we've gone into him with issues and he, we say, okay, let's just roll up our sleeves and figure out how to get it solved. This region is uh, extraordinary because we have it all. We have this major manufacturing center. We have uh, collaborative governments. Our, our county, our port, our city work together to maintain and grow those assets and, and develop this region. So we're trying here in the county to uh, keep it beautiful and really support the industries that we've had uh, traditionally. So we have aerospace, uh, but we also have agriculture and forestry and recreation and tourism. And so we're, we try to balance uh, and support all our traditional businesses because we want to keep diversity here. Because we know that our voices are so much stronger when we're working as one voice together.